Hey there guys, welcome to the Happy Toy Factory, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Lego chain link piece, or unorthodox piece, as I'm going to refer to it from now on, which can be seen in many of my tutorials. Orthodox piece, we are going to need two things. We're going to need a basic Lego chain, doesn't matter what color, uh, really depends on what you're building with, and then we are also going to need a pair of scissors. Um, not much safety is really required, however it is good if you are young that you have a parent at hand to assist you. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the chain like this, we're going to get the scissors, and we're literally just going to cut the chain off. So, as you can see here, just going to focus. We have the chain here, and that's a little tricky with these crappy scissors. There we go. Uh, and as you can see, it's still a bit left. We can just cut that off. You can also use a filer or a chisel or something to get rid of those extra bits. Um, this, at the time being, is the best I can really do. I'm going to see if I can cut off just a little bit more. Ah, well, there's the best I can really do, and then we can just do the ne we can just do it again with this piece of the chain. So same thing again, and snap, and there, and again. So now we have our two unorthodox pieces created. These are replacements for a special kind of piece. Um, they're basically normal studs with holes in the middle. Um, these pieces are quite rare, um, or at least in sets that I can usually find. Um, the only set I really know of that you can find them in is the LEGO Ghostbusters Kuso set, um, but other than that you can find them in the LEGO board game sets, um, but usually they're in white, and in the case of making the Five Nights at Freddy's characters, it's better to have them in a darker color. That's why I use the unorthodox pieces here because I can get them in gray which matches the mechanical endoskeleton underneath. So there is the tutorial on how to make the Lego unorthodox piece. Uh, for an example of where it can be used on my Lego Foxy figure you can see there is an unorthodox piece used at the shoulder here joining the arm to the body. Um, a tutorial will be coming out for this figure rest assured because I've got a lot of comments asking me to build Foxy even though I already have but hey I'll just do it again, because I guess this model is actually improved, so it would be a lot nicer to do a tutorial on that. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall be featuring this tutorial in all of my next tutorials, uh, seeing as it is a very important piece in what I'm usually building. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I shall be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye!